Hi, this is Jennifer from SVG Cuttables, and I'm going to show you how to add text to my brush strokes frames files. So I opened up the brush stroke frames and then I typed out this text. Oops, what's it doing? Oh, I uh, typed out this text in two different types of fonts. This, if you're going to have one word, um, a taller font would look good. This font is called Cute Hamster. And I'll link it below. And this font is called Andorra. And it's a medium height font, so you can have multiple um, lines of text there. So, what I'm going to use the one cute hamster. Let's see, let's fit this in the middle. Just kind of line it up where you want it. And then the frame comes in grouped. It's all a group, so we need to right click and ungroup it. And we also need to weld the text. Now this font has a little bit of rough spots on it, so it's not a totally clean font, but it's very minimal distressing on it. Just to warn you on that. Now we need to do a contour around our word or offset it's called offset in here and we're going to click on offset up here and then we're going to adjust the width of it just need a little bit and that looks good and then click apply and then there's your offset and it'll come over here you can see where it says offset and here's the original word so you want to select offset and I'm going to turn it white so we can see it better there. Now we're going to slice out this offset from each one of these paint strokes. So you have to do that one at a time because it, if you group this or if you weld it, it'll make it all one color and if you group it, it won't let you slice. It won't let you slice a group. So you have to do it one at a time on here. So we're going to select, we need to select the white outline and the paint, one paint stroke and trying to do it over here can be tricky because it might select the wrong thing right there so let me go back put that back um i like to select it over here white offset and then i'm going to hold down shift and select this first paint stroke and then we're going to click slice down here and then that will slice that first one out and then i'm going to come over here slice result there's that, there, and there, and here. Okay, so these four right here. Well, I know I don't want this piece, this red piece. Well, do I? No, I don't want that. We don't want this white piece. And if you click over here, see, it's going to select this whole thing. So you're going to have to, let's delete this piece. And then we can delete this piece. And then that leaves that black word underneath. That's what you want to keep with this cut out. So now we're going to select that white, which is the whole outline again. Shift, hold down shift and click the gray paint stroke. So those two things are selected. You can tell which ones are selected over here on the layers panel. And then we're going to click slice. And then See, if I click here, it's still not letting me, so we're going to slice result. We're going to delete that one. This slice result, delete that one, and that leaves that black cutter. That's what we want. So let's do that again for the next paint stroke. Hold shift, select the white, select the black paint stroke, and then slice. Now let's get rid of those extra bits that we don't want. Sometimes it's kind of hard to find them. You just have to click around okay and if you delete the wrong one you can click undo up here or Control z to undo on your keyboard okay let's go to the next one select this white white offset and shift hold down shift click the red and then we're going to click slice okay let's get rid of those extra slice results there we go 
and then hold down shift, click the white and the gray, slice, and then we can, you can right click and delete over here if you want, right click, delete, okay, and now we have one more, hold down shift, click, click, those two pieces are selected, slice. Okay, this looks like an extra piece, and this one, delete. Now, if you click here, you can see those extra little white bits of those sliced results. We don't want that, so we're going to delete that. And now we have a cutout design. But before we go to cut, you want to select everything of one color, and you can do it over here. might be easier than doing it over here. Hold down shift and collect all, or select all of the black pieces and our word is black and we're going to attach. And then we're going to do that with the red pieces. Hold down shift and select each one. Click attach and then the gray pieces. Hold down shift, click both, attach. Now when we go to make it, let's click make it. Well, that's not right. Okay, there we go. <laughs> now they're all on their own mat. There's three mats there. Gray, your black, and your red. And they're all in the same position, ready to cut. Okay. Now you're, you're good.